brokers. Brokers are not the scum of the earth, but you can smell them from here. They will get you. They will prey on your weaknesses. They will offer you the moon and give you rotten cheese. They will do everything they can to take advantage of you. They will trade against you. They will get you on spreads. They will get you on commissions. They will get you, but they're the only game in town. Now, you do have to understand that if their product did not work, they would have nothing of any value with which to attract their prey in the first place. So, like any good flypaper, it does have an appealing layer. Their basic infrastructure does work. But beware, there are sharks in these waters. The real scum are the educators who work for the brokers, who work for themselves. This is the thickest and stinkiest layer on the puddle. Sometimes you can't even see through it. The darkest and thickest absorb the light and let nothing escape. These I call the black holes of Forex education. This is the shallow water where the sharks can circle and feast on their prey at their leisure. There is more available on these scurrilous scoundrels at forexforachange.com. There is a second level of scum, and yes, there are many levels. Think of an oil slick on a puddle. Every layer is a different density of scum. Every color is a different viscosity. The puddle is slimy. Every puddle has multiple layers of scum. Really? The door-to-door -door and phone scam salespeople have inundated this industry, and it's a very lucrative product, so of course it attracts the best of the worst. Some of them are truly very good at their jobs, not trading. The second level of scum is the website which claims to rate, rank, and test recommended brokers. Basically, they're the scouts for the hunters. Every one of them is taking their cut. Every one of them skims a little off every deposit and every trade you make. Every one of them can be trusted to be untrustworthy. The most scurrilous of these sharks are the websites which absolutely trash a broker and demand a payment to remove the indictment. Yes, it's ransom money. It's a new form of kidnapping. They basically kidnap a broker's reputation and demand a payment, which the broker will, of course, pay up, and then add the kidnapper to the long list of prospectors. So it actually works for both parties. It doesn't work for us. The easiest way to spot these sharks is to look for the banner ads. I guarantee every one of the recommended brokers has an advertisement somewhere on that page. The tentacles of the broker are long and forever searching for fresh prey to herd towards the shark den. So, are there ways to circumvent the broker advantages? Yes, don't be a stupid donkey. Don't take their bonuses. Do not, never, under no circumstances accept signing bonus. It'll bite you. Don't scalp. Don't put yourself in a position where they can widen the spreads and take you out. Don't do everything most educators tell you to do. Don't let them teach you. Don't pay commissions. Don't let them talk you into high-frequency trading. Don't get into a position where the broker can do anything to you. Now, don't make an enemy either. They do control your account, and ultimately they control your access to your money. So don't be rude, and especially don't threaten them. They've been here before, they've seen many thousands of you, and they know exactly how to deal or not deal with you. Ultimately, if you are in a position where a broker has done something unethical to your account, then you are probably responsible for putting the broker in a position of strength and, of course, the broker will take advantage of your lack of foresight. Most times this can be distilled to you taking something from the broker for free, without reading the fine print. See above. Don't take any bonuses. On the other hand, if the broker still has done something unethical, it should be so obvious that it will be impossible to not rectify. So don't be a donkey. Now, I don't want messages from the Donkey Love Consortium. I do know and understand that donkeys can be excellent pets and protectors. Have you ever seen a field of horses and one donkey? It's because the donkey protects the horses from the wolves, coyotes, dogs, and other predators. And if you've never seen a donkey kick the living hell out of a predator, you've missed a real lesson in protecting the herd. 
The real stupid ones in the fields are the horses. That's because they've had all of their instincts bred out of them. So don't be a stupid horse's ass. Know before you put any money into an account whether you are comfortable or not. Don't expect them to take care of you because they will. They'll relieve you of the burden of your bank account. Take care of yourself first. Now, you do need a broker, so you want the best you can get, right? Ultimately, you want a broker in your own country. This way the laws do pertain and protect you somewhat. Do not trust any broker from an island, a tax haven, or even, and I have seen this, a ship in international waters. You're going to need multiple brokers. Don't put all your investment into one entity, ever. Spread it around. You want a broker to be big. Big enough to be bought up if it all hits the fan. Life, uh, FXCM. They took a huge hit in the United States, but they were big enough to be bought up. If your broker is Les Nessman Investments from downtown Cincinnati, high atop the Flynn Building on the 13th floor, you've got no chance of being saved when the fan hits the pavement. You want MT4. This is paramount. You want an MT4 terminal. This gives you access to the market and the ability to self-program your trading with robots and expert assistance, and truly, it is universal. You also want a no-time-limit demo account. The time-limited accounts are designed to get you to put your money in way before you are ready. You want easy-to-navigate account monitoring. There should be a simple account page you can understand. You want options for account funding so you can pick the one that makes you most comfortable. You want to fund your account in whatever currency you like, whether it is in your own currency or any other desired currency. You don't want a multitude of phone calls. If you feel like you're about to buy carpet cleaning, you might be talking to a call center in Florida. So tell them you're deaf. They don't know what to do. Trust me, it works. It would also be nice to find a free VPS. This will probably require a minimum deposit. With a VPS, it's a virtual private server. You can run robots and at the very least access your account from anywhere, anytime. It has the added benefit of not tying up your personal computer. Do not, never, under no circumstances, accept any signing bonus. It'll bite you. That's twice, or is that three times? One more. Do not, never, under any circumstances, accept any signing bonus. It'll bite you. So, to review, good brokers are simply the best of the worst. Find a broker in your own country with multiple funding options that is big enough to be bought up that offers a no time limit MT4 demo, offers a free VPS service, and will not be calling you repeatedly at all hours. Basically, you're looking for a partner who will allow you to grow at your own pace. Start with one and then add to it. There are three main streams of Forex for a change. The website is always the best point of contact. Here you will find the blogs, which are the foundation of all of the podcasts and videos. From the website, you can easily get everything you need. The podcast is available everywhere. Simply use your preferred podcast app and search Forex for a change. The YouTube channel has all of the podcasts, along with bonus videos. Subscribing will ensure you never miss a new video. Music